hi people how are you today today i'm gonna show you guys some differences about motorized bike then if you wanna buy a kit to install in your bike i'm gonna show you what is the best kit in my opinion to you install in your bike uh, for example have two here have two kind different kinds of motors to motorized bike I had this one that I prefer this head is together they have a screw here you know have four screws in the base have a little gasket here and the top is together it's not separate you cannot take just the top okay, you see here the top is together this one is different you know don't have that screw you have a screw here in the top the screw go straight onto here i don't like this one why jose i'm gonna show you i buy this this kit then I install the bike, the kit start leaking oil to this gasket. This this one have two gaskets. One in the bottom, one gasket here, right? And another in the top. It's hard to do it with just one hand. Try to slow. We have we have a gasket here in the bottom it's not here but have a gasket there I have another gasket in the top here okay then I installed this motor in some bike another another bike they start leak here and they start leaking the top too then I put another gasket here, another gasket here, and tie it. And I run with the bike, and still leaking. Then, I tie more, 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 and this screw come out. This is no good quality motor. Then I try put some glues and make a hole here, but nothing working. Then I lose this motor. It's like a hundred, a hundred ten dollars I pay for the kit. Then I get upset with this motor. I don't wanna buy this motor anymore. I just gonna use that one. Doesn't matter the color, can be black, can be, can be red, can be silver, 
you gotta it's me personal it's my personal uh, opinion Damn, I'm gonna open this box I'm gonna show you a brand new kit that I have here just wait for another friend and I just buy this, this kind of motor I don't buy the, the, this one anymore just buy this one because it's really really good motor You guys can see the difference. This one have one, two, three parts onto the head. This one have one, two parts. The top part is together. This cannot leak here. Just can't leak here. If this start leaking here, you gotta. I normally I get some cardboard but no thick like this and make another gasket and put a double gasket here and tie a little bit more here and stop leaking then let me try to show you guys how it's inside of this every kit that you buy come with everything you need to put the bike together include brand new kit includes some little tools for you remove the the spark plug this is the spark plug this is the tool and they have this iron in there it's like the one that you can This assembly something the motor. I'm gonna show you something that is a tip. I'm gonna give you guys make some difference for you when you put this this bike this bike together the motor motor kit take this cover out can be before can be after you put the the, the motor you can put together the motor on the bike can be after <laughs> Or before You remove the, the cover, take care because you don't broke and you don't lose this gasket. You see, they put just a little grease here. You see my finger? Little grease, don't make no, really don't make difference. I'm gonna get the grease, just a minute.
this is Greece, right? Then, what I do? This part is the clutch, right? When you pull the clutch, this open close to connect and disconnect the wheel of motor, right? This part is a part that make a bunch of noise. Even the motor make a noise, natural noise motor. This make a noise too. Then, if you do it, grease around this gear like this put some extra grease in this gear This is what I do. Every one bike that I put together, I do it because this reduce the noise and help and help to this don't get loose and broke. Here you can put too much. You can put a bunch of grease here on this part. I have this gear. This gear come to the motor straight. You can put a bunch of a bunch of grease here. You just just cannot put a uh, grease in this gap around this gap you cannot put grease there because that is the clutch you don't want the clutch slip you know and here you saw where they put the grease here a little bit in the bottom can put some here too this is a good tip when you guys gonna put together your motorized kit The wheel is not here. It's here the place. Can put some more. This place is gonna be here. Then for me, this is something essential that you gotta do when you're gonna before or after on the way or 
before you install the motor on the bike. This is some, some for me, it's personal. It's a really good tip. You're gonna reduce the noise of motor when the motor is operate and gonna make that gear work for a long, long, long time. No broke and no have no trouble. Right, this is uh this is one good tip. Another tip that I have to give you is this one. I had one, one, one time I put something back together and this screw come out when I was running with the bike. I was running with the bike and I, I hear the noise blah, 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 and I hear this, the, the exhaust was almost falling. Then the screw come out alone. Then after this, I always use this thing to lock up the screw. Especially here. You can use here too. But here is essential. These screws here, I normally put some super glue here and then I'm showing this on another bike it's more easy here I put super glue here I put super super glue here does the, the vibration and especially here in the bracket I put super glue each screw that hold this bracket. And I use this one and this spark plug too because seal and don't let the spark plug come out and don't let this clicking this is some tips that gonna make gonna make your, your life easy and gonna make your bike work really good no leakings no too much noise in the motor because you want to hear the, the exhaust noise, but you don't want to hear this, this gear noise. You want to make like hey, annoying noise alone if you don't put the grease. If you put the grease, it's going to be a little less loud. And now I'm going to open this motor for you guys see the difference about this one with this one. I show you guys about the grease here. I show you guys got to put when you put in the way for this screw don't come out put super glue in here in here too to tie to don't let this come out 
then I'm gonna open take this out for you guys see. Like you guys can see, this is the gasket that I'm talking about. They do something wrong in these motors. Sometimes, some parts like this one stick it out a little bit more than another side, one side. Then this make the, this make this part leaking. But we just gotta put this on the, some cardboard draw with the paint around and cut with the scissor and make a thick gasket like this. Right. But this is this is the big difference between this one, you see, and this one. This is a hundred percent positive better. No idea. We can't compare with, we cannot compare this with this. Why? Because you don't have the trouble to worry about the top gasket. And this one, you have a top and bottom gasket. This one, you have just the bottom gasket. It's wonderful. Then, I never ever more gonna buy one like this. That black one is like this too. Then have some. When you guys gonna buy it, my recommendation is if you see the picture on the side, they have this stick, stick it out screw. Don't buy, buy one like this. This one is really better than like this, people. It's my tip for today. I show you guys the difference about the motors. I show you guys some tips with this glue. Some tip with the 
the grease, you gotta have a grease. You gotta have this glue. And you gotta have, let me get. You gotta have super glue too. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank, thank for, thanks for watching. Please leave your tongue and subscribe in the channel for the new videos. Thank you so much. See you guys in another day. God bless America. God bless us. Thank you. Bye.